welcome back ladies and gentlemen to modded monday episode two today we're going to be looking at hogwarts legacy i wanted to look at the two ones that i've actually got working and i'm going to show you how to get them how to put them in the folders and then we're going to actually look at the mods themselves yes yes there is a gun <laughs> in hogwarts legacy it's called magic gun hence the name because you know magic and all that this replaces the default wand handle so if you have a handle skin on your wand this won't appear as soon as you take that skin off it will appear with these you do need to make an account on nexus mods nexus mods is probably the most known modded website out there so don't feel like there's any viruses and you know you're gonna have your computer all fried and all this stuff your game's gonna break and you're gonna get banned nexus mods probably one of the top secure modding sites just for well, any game really what you want to do is go into nexus mods all the links will be in the description anyway for these two mods uh, once you're on there create an account and then when you're on this page you can see it says manual or you can use vortex i don't use vortex because i don't know what that is it's another program whatever i use manual just click on manual and then choose slow download unless you've paid towards obviously nexus mods and you've donated or whatever you can get a fast download with premium i mean for me i'm happy with download speeds of 1.5 megabyte these files aren't massive anyway you don't really need premium they do have a donation link in the certain mods anyway so if you really do want to support that that creator there is a donation link for them personally once you do that click slow download and that will start downloading into your folder mine will be a little bit different because my game is not saved in my c drive yours may be in your c drive or whatever there's a couple of ways that you can do this what you want to do is go to your steam library or your steam folder steam apps and then go to steam apps common and then find the game folder hogwarts legacy people say post it directly in here don't do that because they will not work go into phoenix go into content go to packs and make a modded folder and then paste all the files within the download so once you've downloaded it say this one here open it up all these files inside of the zip folder just drag and drop into this mods folder inside of steam library steam apps common hogwarts legacy phoenix content packs and then make a mod folder i mean you can do it exactly like how this is it's got a little siphon thing i don't know if that needs it or not mine just had a modded folder inside of one of the the mods so i used it but that's what you do any mod that you download super simple the second way to do it if you can't find it free folders just go to steam go to hogwarts legacy right click it go manage and then go to browse local files that will take you directly to your root folder for hogwarts legacy once you've got all your mods installed that you wanted that you found the best thing to do is go back to the description of that mod because that's where it will tell you what it replaces so this one says it will replace the original wand the next mod we're going to look at you've probably seen it already if you've looked about the screen one of my favorite the shrek broom okay this i mean he's a bit shiny don't get me wrong there's a few texture details there with the shininess but this thing is just magnificent okay so same again download it through manual go to slow download fast download whatever you want to do put it into the folder like i showed you before and once that's installed remember come back to the description and it tells you here it replaces the aeromancer broom i'm going to show you where to get this broom if you don't know because a few of the websites online tell you something different so what we're going to do is jump into the game and I'll show you where to get it. Quick side note, if you open a Hogwarts Legacy, it sometimes might come up saying, are you sure you want to open the game because there's a new Phoenix folder it's found? Just say yes, because that's the mods. So you need to obviously accept them. So we are in Hogwarts Legacy, as you can see. And this is where you need to come to, which is Rowan Prakash. He's the only one that will sell you the Aeromancer broom. And it is a bit of a struggle to find if you don't know where to go. I'm going to go onto the map here and show you exactly my location so we are in port decider coast i think that's how you said we are on the edge now a lot of the times it will say come down to Krugle croft sheer and go east south and all this nonsense completely wrong direction altogether easiest way to find it go from hogwarts over here straight down just follow the river follow the river da, 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 on your broom walking whatever you want to do once you're all the way down here into this area just find these two bridges and pretty much in the middle you'll find a derelict castle and just outside of that is rowan and just talk to him once you talk to him please have a look he will have 
For 3,000 pounds or shillings or whatever they use, it will be the Aeromancer broom, which is Shrek's face. So we're going to buy that. An excellent purchase. And that's all you really need from him. And as you can see, collected update the Aeromancer broom with Shrek's face or Aeromancer. Then all you do is obviously go into your gear, go to your broom and whack on Shrek's face. I'm going to wait till it's daytime to sort of show you the mods because it's a bit too dark. I'll be back. So now the sun has arisen, it's time to check out the mods. So I've changed the handle on the wand to work for the gun. And we're going to pull out Shrek and see the light in textures and all that good stuff. So... Starting off with a gun, obviously I'm just going to put it out by shooting. So the model of the gun actually looks pretty good. What I'm going to do Lumos. is just use Lumos, just to get a check of the gun. This is the model itself, it is a Glock, I think it is. Uh, you know, it's nothing special, it's not like a semi automatic or anything like that. You know, no AKs and things like that. It's just a pistol, but what would have been nice to have is some sort of bullet trail. Instead of having, obviously, when you shoot it's certain... Spells, it will do a certain color for our spells. It would have been nice to have maybe, a, you know, a, a remodeled gun trail of some sort or a bullet sound or something like that. But you can't complain. It's a gun in Harry Potter. It still shoots bullets when you... See, so the one that I like is... Accio. Looks a lot like a bullet trail. When you shoot it, it does a spiral. That's pretty cool. So that would have been cool to have as like an every single spell thing, but you can't you can't have them all. You can't win it all, can you? So that is the gun. I'll show you in the gear what the gun looks like. This is obviously without any of the handles. If you put a handle on, it'll just go back to your normal wand anyway. But this is the gun skin. Pretty simple, very standard. Has a bit of shaders on, which I'm very pleased with. It's nice to see they added that in there. Just gives it that sort of luminous of 3D object. But now for the main event, Shrekker's love, Shrekker's life. Press tab, press three, you see Shrek's face, and here he is. This, <laughs> this thing is amazing. I don't care what you say, this thing looks so good. It does look a bit glassy, I'm not going to lie, it looks a bit sort of like it's made out of ceramic glass or something like that. But the only issue you have with this is the front facing camera does make it glitch out. Now I'm guessing that's because it's out of its reach, it's hitting the, the camera if you will, so it can't render it in at close proximity, but other than that, I mean the model looks fantastic, it's got shaders on, so when you're near fire it will actually glow on the body, like fires around, like the colours will sort of shimmer, if there's shadows going past it will cast a shadow over the top of Shrek. And the, the modeling's amazing. There's just no, you know, sample te like sample modeling where the broom's coming through or the bottom of the broom. There's no brush of it. They've done such a good job with this. And the, I mean, the quality of it's actually really good. You've got the texture of, you know, the, the jacket that Shrek wears or the, the scales, whatever they are. The texture of the trousers and there's different little aspects to it. The fingers are nicely separated. They're not just one big blob. You know, it's really well made. And, I mean, it flies beautifully. Look at this. It just looks so good. I'm actually flying Shrek. There's nothing better than flying Shrek, my guy. The colours are really, like, crisp as well. That's just flying Shrek. It doesn't even look like we're sort of, like, bumming him, if you will. That's another thing I've noticed with this as well. When you pull out Shrek and then put him away, if you've noticed, he actually shrinks at proper proportion. It doesn't just sort of clip away. He actually shrinks like the broom does. So the modeling is that well diverse that they've even got the shrinking animation on point. And that's that's next level for me. Small things, man. Small things. But yeah, that's the gun. That is Shrek. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. That's the mods for today. On the next episode, we're going to check out some more mods maybe for either Hogwarts Legacy. We've got GTA. We've got some other games out there. That we can look into and even mods for like keyboards and stuff like that it doesn't have to be gaming per se but it's just easier because pc can handle everything now yeah i'm gonna go grab a thumbnail for shrek and i'll do the outro at the same time the sunset let's go over to the sunset so we need to get a thumbnail well ladies and gentlemen that has been modded monday episode two as we drift beautifully into the sunset riding upon shrek I appreciate everyone that's dropped by. If you want to leave a like, hit like. If you want to leave a sub, leave a sub. I appreciate you all if you do. And come back by hitting the notification bell so you don't miss the next upload of Modded Monday 
Survival Sunday and Teaching Thursday. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. Stay positive and enjoy life. And I'll see you next time.